2019 was terribly stressful. Extremely frustrating. We couldn't seem to do anything right. We're facing things we've never seen. The emotions, the stress of it all runs high. Producers were changing their direction daily. Making plans was very challenging. We were changing our plans by the hour. Not only can't get it planted, you can't combine your wheat, you can't get the weed sprayed, and you can't plant the cover crop. You know, you just didn't know what to do. You just don't sleep that well. How much can you take? When you get 40 inches of rain in yeah, one year, and the year before it was 39, that's Ohio level rainfall. We're missing miles and miles of fence, probably somewhere between seven and eight miles of fence. Some of it we haven't even seen yet that's still in water. All this rain that's come and <laughs> it was a depressing year trying to figure out what strategies you could use how to manage the moisture how to get anything done one of my biggest challenges was some of them fields you got planted late you know, it really took a hit on the yields and it wasn't bad enough to collect on crop insurance but it wasn't good enough to really make any money on yeah 2019 was a challenge i had a field with just too wet. We went out and tried a couple times because we were leaving ruts and getting stuck. We weren't really allowed the opportunity to do what we normally like to do and frustrating that you only had a, sh a tight window of opportunity to get any work done. We've got a lot of work from 2019 that we don't know when we'll get it done. Just the sheer amount of dead trees and things that have flooded into our property, we've got a lot of work there. We've had enough rain that we went into spring of 19 with a full profile. Economics are definitely kicking in, rural family stress. Bankers are feeling it, Main Street's feeling it. The economic thing, you don't get your crop back in, your cash rents are due, your free pays are due. There's enough emotion in the farm thing and then you got the finances. Wow. Twenty nineteen was probably the first year that my soil health farmers and no-till farmers uh, struggle as well. But uh, there was a caveat with every conversation I had. They all said that they're not going to change a thing. In fact, they're going to do more to improve their soil because they realized how important the soil health was, the soil conditions, the physical properties were to get them through twenty nineteen. Our soil health producers, I think they won the battle. I think others are going to pay attention to that. The adoption is going to further increase.